Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear viewers and students, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will learn Computer Science 7 class. We learn Hardware Basic Unit Number 1 Exercise. Answer the following questions. Number 1. What is the system unit? The system unit. System unit is used for a combination of hardware components. The system unit in desktop computers is also called the system box. It contains the processor, memory, disk drivers, power supply, and communication interfaces. The input devices, output devices, and peripherals are attached to it. Case number two. How many shapes does a desktop system box has? Describe them. Desktop computers have two shapes of the system box. Number one, tower. Number two, desktop. Towers are upright rectangles. They are usually kept under the desk or in a cabinet under the desk. They can also be kept on the floor. A relatively smaller form is called mini tower. Number two, desktop. Desktops are flat rectangles. They can be kept on the desk. They are used to save the space. Question number three. Name the components of the motherboard. Answer number three. Components of motherboard. The motherboard is inside the system unit. It is a printed circuit board. All the major components of the computer are attached to it. It has the following components. Number one, peripheral ports. Number two, CPU chip. Number three, RAM slots. Number four, expansion slots. Number five, IDE controller. Number six, CMOS battery. CMOS battery. Number seven, CPU slots. Number eight, power supply plugin. Number 9, Cache Memory. Number 10, Bias Chip. Question number 4. Write about the following. CPU Chip, CMOS Battery, Cache Memory. Number 1, CPU Chip. This chip is fixed on the motherboard. It is also called the processor or a microprocessor. It heats up soon when computer is turned on. Therefore, a fan is also fixed on its top. This fan keeps the processor cool. CMOS battery. All personal computers require CMOS battery. It provides power to the complementary metal oxide semiconductor. CMOS chip. Even while the computer is turned off, this chip contains information about the system configuration. The CMOS battery allows the CMOS to preserve the configuration setting. Cache memory. Cache memory is placed between CPU and main memory. Frequently used program code or data are stored in it. It can be accessed even before the RAM. It increases the performance this way. Question number 5. What do you understand by compatibility of a processor? Processors differ from each other by the instruction set. If the same program can run 
on to different computers brands they are said to be compatible programs written for ibm compatible computers usually do not run on apple computers it is because the two architectures are not compatible